It's yummy and it tastes good and it's my favorite craving right now. Oh my gosh, duh. So I wanna make sure I get food in my belly. Good morning. Welcome back to our channel. We are, that is a big belly. 27 weeks pregnant. So crazy. Anyways, I wanna do a quick what I eat in a day. It varies depending on what I'm craving, how busy my day is, how hungry I am. <laughs> but today, I'll try to have it be as normal as possible, but also I'll give you some other options or like things that I would eat typically for a meal or for a snack. What I'm finding lately is I can't eat big meals because I just can't fit it in my belly. The bigger meal that I eat, the more my stomach's upset and the more it just feels like huge and that it's like pushing out. So try to do a little bit of snacking throughout the day. Usually in the mornings, I'm not too hungry. Whenever I work out, I'll grab like a string cheese and an apple and eat that on the way to work out. And then after workout, I'll do a protein shake. But this morning, doing things a little bit different, not going to work out this morning and so i made an actual breakfast because i don't think i'll have time to eat again until lunchtime so i want to make sure i get food in my belly but every morning i always start off with greens so let me show you that This is not sponsored by the way. I just love Blooms. I've been drinking it for probably two years now. I started Lost Surrogacy Journey, loved it, and I just keep going. So this is berry flavor. They have so many different flavors. I wanna say they have like a coconut. I prefer to do it with apple juice just cause it makes it a little bit sweeter. Sometimes it's too sweet, so I add a little bit of water to it, but it really helps with my bloating, my digestion, and just kind of keeps me regulated. And doing the apple juice helps it not taste like grass or dirt, so cheers. <laughs> All right, starting off with breakfast. The main thing I focus on whenever I like plan my meals or like figure out what I'm gonna eat is getting enough protein in, especially with me working out and then just growing baby. I feel like I crave carbs and I wanna eat carbs all the time, but I want to make sure there's enough protein in my diet. So with breakfast, I try to do like a protein veggie carb type of meal without fats or sugar, which is funny because what I'm actually eating has fat in it, but it's yummy and it tastes good and it's my favorite craving right now. Anyways, some of the other options for breakfast, like I said, string trees and apple, really quick on the go. If I am running out the door and I want something a little bit more hearty, we've been doing Chobani or the Chobani flip, which is really good with like the strawberry shortcake or strawberry cheesecake one but again sugar but also it's easy and it's good so whatever if i'm really strict and i want to like be so good and so healthy i do a cup of cottage cheese with one tomato diced up chopped spinach with everything bagel seasoning this was something I ate on the regular last pregnancy and even before that, where I think I kind of got burnt out on it because I ate it every single day. It is good and I like a more savory breakfast than I do a sweet. So that's a good option. Definitely protein, veggie, and carb. So well-balanced meal and the cottage cheese really fills you up. And for a cup of cottage cheese, that's 26 grams of protein in one serving. So that's awesome. But like I said, breakfast for today is different. So avocado toast is my go-to. I share it on stories all the time. For bread, we started having the Dave's Killer bread, the 21 whole grain. So good, it has like seeds and stuff in it, so it's really hearty. I do a layer of cream cheese on it, um, a half of an avocado, sprinkle in, the everything bagel seasoning and then I top it with a couple fried eggs. So I get my protein, I get my carbs, but it does have fat and no veggies. Um, I could chop up and put some spinach under there, but I don't. Like look how good that looks so tasty and also it reminds me of florida because whenever we go to florida one of my favorite little cafes serves avocado toast there without the egg but it just makes me feel like i'm in florida every time i eat it <laughs> it is 1 48 and we just got back to the house we went to a house showing today which is exciting took way longer than we thought but trying to cram some food down surprisingly i'm not too hungry like i could probably go 
another hour without eating because breakfast this morning for me was a lot, but I'm gonna eat because I'm hungry and Dan heated up my food. So if you've seen our videos, you know that sometimes we order Chipotle to meal prep. <laughs> so this is what it is. I did like a cup of cilantro lime rice, a little sprinkle of black beans and then chicken. I'm not a big cheese person, but Dan put a sprinkle of cheese on there. So there's a little bit, but I'm gonna do this with a couple scoops of the salsa. Their salsa is amazing and I usually just freeze it and I'll keep it in the freezer. Oh my gosh, duh. Freeze it, put it in the freezer and just eat on it like throughout the months. I add other salsa to it or if you put this in like a quesadilla with beans and chicken or even like ground beef and chicken and cheese, the sweetness of the corn just adds the perfect flavor. So this is gonna be lunch. I probably added way too much corn to this but it's so good the sweetness is amazing almost done with that and dan was like do we have anything just like sweet to snack on i don't buy sweet stuff because i will eat it like the gelato the one time i ate the whole pint of gelato like <laughs> probably over the course of two days maybe three but i don't think so chips wise like this is our like chips it's like tortilla chips mustard pretzels snap peas like the if I buy it, I'm gonna eat it. We have like goldfish up there and Cheez-Its maybe, but again, sweets. This is our like sweets cabinet. Granola bars, crackers, and fruit snacks, and like trail mix. I would eat like a granola bar if I wanted something sweet. Dane on the other hand has a sweet tooth, so he's like, I need something. But I was like, I have fruit in the fridge, so I'm gonna have a little bit of cantaloupe and pineapple, just as a little sweetness. Also, my food is still settling, so I'm not like quite full, but with a couple bites of this, I feel like at the end of it, I'll feel satisfied. All right, this is where Sam splurges. I'm eating a hot dog. We're at the kids' school for an art show, and so hot dog is what it is, burritos, and <laughs> having a sip of Coke. Honestly, I can only handle a sip of it because I don't like carbonation where it like burns my throat. You know how people are like, I like a spicy Coke. I do not like, I'm gonna stick with water. All right, we are back from the art show. It was fun, a little adventurous night with the kiddos. <laughs> Seeing all their crafts that they made and them eating all the snacks and they had cotton candy, which good for them. But I wanted to add in that drinking water is important and try to drink at least two of these a day. I'd probably drink a third through the night maybe. I don't know. Body weight in ounces is usually what I go off of, but lots of water. And then it's most of the time after lunch, but sometimes after lunch if I forget, like today we didn't get home until 1.45, my prenatal. So I take ritual prenatals. These are the only ones that I found that I can take and not be nauseous. If I take them on an empty stomach in the past, I want to say, I can't remember, it's just like a Walmart brand of prenatals, I would take and immediately get nauseous and like have to eat something if I like forgot to eat something with it. So these I like that they are super sensitive on your stomach or not sensitive, you know what I mean? <laughs> your stomach can handle them. And so since I didn't take them for lunch, I'm gonna take them now. I wanna add in, it has this little like scent rubber piece. That little piece right there is like scented. So it makes them taste like lemon. Some of them you get, it's like a mint, but I wanna say that's the postnatal ones. It's more of like a minty flavor, but it also helps it taste good. So again, super easy to take. Love that I can take them at night if I forget during the day because I don't have to like eat something else because I'm telling you, I didn't eat a lot today. My avocado toast, my like chipotle bowl, hot dog and chips, and I'm feeling so bloated and stuffed. Oh, I ate fruit too. Like the belly is bumping. That's a big belly. Like, <laughs> and it is a lot of bloat right now because I'm usually not this like hard. <gasps> I'm usually not that like big, I feel like. But at the end of the day, my belly is definitely bigger after everything I've eaten all day, bloating and just being like full. I wanna add really quick with dinner, we do a lot of meal prepping. So I've shared on Instagram a lot about protein pasta that I'll bake and kind of meal prep with and Alfredo I'm craving a lot lately. So I'll do like protein pasta with Alfredo sauce and grilled chicken and then broccoli on the side and it'll be ready in the fridge where we can just heat up and cook it especially on busy nights that or I'll do the same thing with like spaghetti and meat sauce with green beans 
protein pasta um, or like pot stickers and steamed rice and broccoli is a super easy meal and it's yummy. Tacos is an easy one or like wraps with like a carb conscious tortilla. So if there's areas that I can cut back in, I do because there's nights like tonight where I eat a hot dog and chips. And for me, I really want to like have a balanced diet not only for myself and watching what I take in, but also for baby. Like I want to have fruits and veggies and healthy carbs and healthy fats, but also so I don't just like go off on the deep end and eat so much because as much as you want it in that moment, the temporary satisfaction of like two bites of it is helps, but in the long run, it doesn't make you feel good. And for me, four times through now with pregnancy, I just know like, when I eat healthier, it helps me feel better. And if I feel better, then I'm happier all around in my pregnancy in life. And so I just try to eat as balanced meals as I can, healthy, but I don't like restrict myself too much because hello, a hot dog tonight told Dan, I was like a hot dog with ketchup every now and then is just so good. <laughs> and that sip of Coke was tasty. It was a little too carbonated, but it was good to have a sip. I did mention this morning that in the mornings I try to do protein, veggie, carb. Lunch, I do protein, veggie, fat. So try to do less carbs. And then at dinner, it's protein, veggie, carb. So you still have that fat, you still have your carbs, but it's not like protein, veggie, carb, sugar every single meal. It's a little bit of balance. So if that helps, sometimes you guys will message me and say, hey, do you have like a certain meal plan that you follow? That's like my guide that I follow. And then I just do like, the serving size portions of it and make sure that I get enough protein, which I aim for like 40 to 60 grams, I think a day, is that right? I don't know, I just aim for enough. No, it is that because I try to have like a protein shake after workout, the days that I do work out. So as long as you're getting enough protein for being pregnant and active, then that's good. As always, consult your doctor. Same as not a professional, I'm just telling you my personal advice of what I do, what has worked for me in the past, and what may work for you. So, hope this chaotic what I eat in a day was helpful. <laughs> I am gonna go scroll Pinterest, the kids are in bed, dance at guys night, I'm gonna drink my water, and little info about me, I like listening to ASMR, it is so relaxing. Dan hates it, he thinks it's like the weirdest thing. So when he's gone, I love listening to it and just like scrolling my Pinterest boards, pinning ideas, and I just like have the best night ever. So cheers to a relaxing night and stick around to see what's next.